Step 10, to the computed percentages, and so that's our computed percentages right here, apply percent style with two decimal places. So you highlight cell G4 to cell G7. Then you come up to your home tab over to the numbers panel and you click percent style right here. And it's saying with two decimal places, it actually defaulted and gave us decimal places, but if yours doesn't, you can increase your decimal places by pushing the arrow to the left. You can decrease your decimal places by pushing the arrow to your right. Um, make sure you center the percentages. So we're gonna come back over here to alignment. I'm gonna click center. And that's it for step 10. We're gonna save and move on down. Step 11, insert line spark lines in the range H4, so that's right here, cell H4 to H7, that compare the quarterly data. So I highlighted cell H4 to H7, and when we do spark lines, we want to go to the insert, and under insert, we come all the way over here to spark lines panel. And it's asked us to do a line, not a column. So we're going to go ahead and click line. And then now create spark lines is asking you, choose the data that you want. And it's saying in the range H4 to H7, compare the quarterly data. Do not include the totals. So it's asking us to compare cell B4 to cell E4. And we just click in our data range and highlight from B4 to F4. You could also type it. It's more accurate if you do it with your mouse. And look at our location range. Our absolute cell values are coming back again because Excel will not continue past H7. It will just put the sparkling data in our trend area here. So we're gonna go ahead and click OK. We start to see our, our spark lines, and then it says show the spark line markers. So we're gonna click marker, and um, it says color. So I'm gonna just pick markers, and I'm gonna go ahead and go to red, because that seems like a good choice. And apply spark line style, accent to darker 25%. So, accent to darker 25%. Theoretically, you should be able to highlight over these um, spark lines and see which one's darker 25%. And hopefully you're seeing that at home and you can choose the correct one. Spark line style accent to darker 25%. I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to click that, and I'm going to save. End of step 11. Step 12. Select the range that represents the sales figures for the four quarters, including the quarter names and their regions. Do not include any totals in the range. So I understand that to be cell A3 all the way to cell E7. With this data selected by using the recommended command, insert a cluster column chart with the region as the category axis and the quarters as the legend axis. So we're gonna go into insert and we're going to go to recommended charts. There's all sorts of chart choices. You could get up here and pick the cluster chart, but it wants you to choose the defaulted cluster chart, which is recommended. So we're gonna go insert recommended charts and sure enough, it is, it is showing us right off the bat that we think you should use a cluster column chart to compare values for categories. And it asks us to have the regions as the category axis and the quarters as the legend axis. So I'm going to go ahead and take the default cluster chart and click OK. And you'll see that it immediately pops up in our window. Now, it specifically asks us 
to make the regions as the category axis and the quarters as the legend. I want to come over here and show you a little bit about chart elements. We can click right here. When we click anywhere on our chart, we have a plus up at the top and um, we need to know how to do the axes. And there's an access title. There's a data label. We didn't ask, it didn't ask us for this. There's the axes. All right, let's just click that real quick. Primary horizontal, primary vertical. Again, access titles is, is for us to label them. And data table, that was if we wanted to insert that again. But we don't want that much data. It makes our chart too busy. Um, error bars, so you can see exactly where it's labeled on the chart. Grid lines, if we wanted more detail. Legend. And look right there. So we unclicked legend and the bottom information about our Midwest, Northeast and West went away. But when we click legend again, then we have our Northeast, Southeast, Midwest and West. And it wants our legend to be the quarters. So we need to come over here and we want to make our legend the quarters. I came over here, once you click on your table, once you click on your table, you get the format chart area dialog box. And I came over here to the size and properties and made sure that my horizontal category access was clicked and that it was text. So your axis, axis option, horizontal category access, and that put Northwest, Southeast, Midwest, and West in. And now it's asking us to make the quarters, so quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and four, as our legend, and we're gonna do that next. So again, we click on our chart. You can click anywhere in the chart and then you get the chart elements as a plus at the top. We're going to click that and come on down here to legend, click legend. And when we do that, it defaults and gives us those quarters, quarter one, two, three, and four. And you can see how that retrospect theme of quarter one is our orange bars. Okay. Highlighted there. You don't need to highlight that, but just so you understand. And that's the end of step 12. Step 13, apply chart style eight color three. So you, again, you click on your chart. Up here in chart tools, you have the formatting of the chart or you have design. We wanna click on design and it's asking us to pick chart style eight. And you can literally count over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And probably at home you would have a pop-up that would say this is chart style eight. And then it says color three under the colorful positions. And that's change colors. And you go down here to color bank three. Um, still in the retrospect style of colors, but we've got that black dark background. Position the chart so the upper left-hand corner is in cell B10. So we're shooting to be right here. That's our goal, B10 right there. So I'm gonna click the top of my chart. I can literally hold my mouse down once I've clicked to move this chart anywhere. And I wanna get it over that cell B10, all right? And that's the end of step 13. Change the chart title to 2019 regional sales. Everything in your chart is clickable and changeable. I'm gonna double click in my chart title. I can just start typing or I can highlight it and type 2019 regional sales to fitness clubs. 
and that's my new title and I save and that's the end of step 14. Step 15, deselect the chart. So I'm just going to click off the chart so I've deselected it and change the page orientation to landscape. I'm going to go to my page layout and I'm going to go to orientation, which is in the page setup panel, and I'm going to pick landscape. And I click that. Center the worksheet horizontally on the page. I go into the file menu and into print, and down at the bottom, you'll see a page setup. I click page setup, and then I'll go in to margins, and in margins, I'm going to click horizontal. Now see the template? This is kind of an outline of our chart right now. When I click horizontally, it will move and center itself left to right. Okay, so watch that. That's what my file print will look like, and I say okay. Now, it also wants me to add a custom footer, and I'm going to go into header and footer. I'm going to go into custom footer, and it says insert a footer with a file name in the left section. This is our left section. To get a left center right section, you do have to go into custom to get these three. You click here and kind of mouse over till you see file name. You would think it was this, but this is the path. It looks like a miniature Excel sheet icon. You click that, and it literally is putting in there what you named your file as, okay? And it doesn't ask us to fill in anything else. I'm going to go OK. I'm going to go OK. I'm going to go save again. And um, I can really quickly show you in our print preview that we have our file name down here in the left hand corner. Um, our chart and our data resemble what we had as our picture at the beginning, our goal. And now it says you need to save and close the document and upload for grading. Way to go, guys. Great job.